Hey guys, what's up? We got a, another uh, revisit today, and this one we're going to be tackling the mystery of the secret switches in Halo 2. So there are two of them in Halo 2, and the first one is on Delta Halo, and this is probably the more well-known one. But basically, to get to it, at the very end of the mission, before you go into the room to fight the Honor Guard Elites, you want to grenade jump over here, using... Uh, Either grenade is fine, plasma is probably easier because it doesn't bounce as much as the frag grenades. But you want to grenade jump up there, and you want to grenade jump again here. And for both of these grenade jumps and the final jump later, you're going to need the Sputnik skull. You only need the Sputnik skull for this um, switch. Anything more than that, and uh, it's going to be a little excessive, and you're pretty much going to be flying over the place. So. As you can see, once you're at this part, you're behind the building where you're supposed to go in. All the enemies out here, they actually cannot see you. If you bump into them, they actually get alerted. But after that, they won't attack you. In fact, they'll think you just like disappeared, even though you're standing right in front of them. You can kill them, but you know it doesn't really matter. Now. To get to the switch, all you gotta do is just simply walk over here to the ledge where the gondola would be on the next mission. And there's the switch floating right there. In classic mode, you have to zoom in a little bit to be able to see it. But in anniversary mode, it's there the entire time. Probably because it has a slightly better draw distance in the anniversary mode. So, how do we get to the switch? And actually, what is the switch's purpose? Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to get to the switch. You could just grenade jump from a ledge over there, but the easiest way to do that and the most controlled way would be to grenade jump from another ledge. So, to get to that ledge, just grenade jump here. Oh. Grenade jump forward, not backwards. I kind of messed up there. But, just make sure you grenade jump across to the other building. And I would highly recommend for all the switches I'm showing in this video to do with a friend so that they can respawn you because most likely you're gonna die unless you know you're really good at these kind of grenade jumps and you can go on your first try so next step is to stand in this corner here and you want to grenade jump across and I did miss it here but as you can see from that little corner there that's your best shot using the Sputnik skull if you fall down you can just, you know, get back up easily. Uh, the pathway is basically right here. So let's actually get to the switch this time. And I'm going to play this part in slow motion so you can see very clearly the entire process. So just toss a green in this corner. And then fly across, basically. I pay very close attention to the words that show up once I pass really close to the switch. And I will press it at the same time, of course. So here we are, flying in in slow motion. There's the switch. Getting closer. And there we go. We hit it, and it says, hold B to open the gate. So, that basically sp sparked a huge mystery and conspiracy theories back in the day of Halo 2 about what it means by the gate and what the switch actually opens. In fact, there's a huge theory linking it to the uh, the tri gates on Halo 2, which we'll actually be getting to soon. But basically, people thought that that switch actually opened up the tri gate on this same map. And you know, that's actually a really cool theory. And I, and you know, I thought it was actually just something to it. But basically, there's uh, quite simply put, the switch does nothing. In fact, um, it's the same switch as the gate switch on the map Zanzibar in multiplayer. See, when you zoom in, the switch, after it's activated, it had, uh, in classic mode at least, it has a blue screen of death from uh, older Windows operating systems. Uh, if you want to get it closer, you got to zoom in with a sniper rifle to see it in a little more detail. But it's the same message on it as the one on the Zanzibar map. So, basically the switch does nothing. It is... Uh, more likely just the placeholder for the um, gondola on the next mission. But other than that, it doesn't actually do anything. 
Now to switch on high charity to get to that one, you're gonna need even more skulls. You're gonna need basically all the skulls that make explosions bigger. And that includes a scarab skull, the feather skull, the boom skull, and the Sputnik skull, and the black eye skull. And the reason why you need a black eye skull is because you're gonna need a lot of overshields to do this uh jump to this next switch. So you just wanna punch some enemies until you get full overshield. Now, while we do this, uh, on a Delta Halo um, switch earlier, uh, if you go through the uh, campaign scripts to Halo 2, the mission scripts are all pretty much easily found online at this point. If you, For those of you who know a little bit about programming or scripting languages, you can pour through the scripts and you can tell that the switch uh, doesn't do anything. It most likely it's just a placeholder. Or at the very least, the switch could be uh, some something left over from the earlier builds of Halo 2, because Bungie did kind of rush Halo 2 towards the end, and they did have to scrap the entire most of the Halo 2 game at least, the original game. And it's possible there was a little bit left over, and that switch, as well as this next uh, switch on High Charity, are pretty much either yeah, just placeholders for other. Um, environmental scenery or or just you know left over there and forgotten by accident now the switch on high charity it is out there in the distance but to get to it you want to stand over here on this corner and here we are in slow motion I'm gonna throw a plasma grenade and then you're gonna to want to fire two shots out of a carbine with the scarab scope active that will send you flying in this direction and just quickly turn around and there you have it is your secret switch now let's play it even more slow motion because this we fly by the switch pretty quickly but we do press it again so we're gonna get really close to it and once again pay close attention to words it says hold B to start elevator it is a very specific switch but in this case it is an elevator switch. On some other missions, it's a, it's a door switch, but on this one, that switch specifically, it is an elevator switch. And once again, it's also just kind of left over there. Um, it also does nothing, you know, just out of curiosity, you know, regardless of what's in the script files, we did just, you know, finish the mission or like go through it after the switch was pressed. Which you can tell it was pressed because there's a glowing orange dot in the middle of it that's not there before. But basically, you know, we went through and finished the mission and, you know, nothing's different. So, that switch does nothing. One possible theory I have is that there is an elevator later in this mission where you go up to the, uh, the hierarch chambers. It's possible that switch was originally meant to be used for that, but they uh, took it out and used a different one. And they kind of just forgot to remove it completely so it's just you know leftover stuff but that's basically what the secret switches are in Halo 2 you know they don't really activate any easter eggs uh, I know in Halo Reach switches out in the middle of nowhere do actually do stuff but not on Halo 2 they're just leftover forgotten or used as placeholders for other stuff uh, they don't activate the tri gates <laughs> they don't uh, really do anything so that basically, hopefully, solves this age-old mystery of what the switches do on Halo 2. If you hit the activation switch, all right. Uh, for those of you guys that uh, are still here, I do want to thank you for sticking around. And this is kind of a last-minute addition to the video while I was editing, and I didn't know like where to fit it in. But um, basically, immediately after the um, that mission where we hit the switch on Delta Halo, we continued to the next mission on Regret, and just continued through as normal to see like if you know activating that switch had any effects on the game at all and something did happen here uh, actually part of the thing I was trying to do was show my friend the uh, Spongebob Easter egg from that other video I made but you know that's not important right now uh, so an interesting thing did happen as you can see it happening right now the uh, the gondolas are supposed to start moving but we're not moving and the uh, Gondola keeps disappearing every now and then, and it's actually pretty much intangible when it disappears. 
and in just a moment, uh, we will get <laughs> feel the full effects of what's going on here. Now, at first, we thought this might have been something to do with the uh, switch being activated, but it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> in fact, I looked it up on YouTube, and this has happened to some people before, so it's totally unrelated to the switch, but I just thought it was something cool I wanted to show you. It did launch us pretty far to the map, uh, but yeah, so thanks for sticking around, guys, and now I'll really see you guys again next time.